Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you've been with us before or welcome to the channel, if this is your first time with us, we are Lee Allen Presents. I am Alan. This is my partner. This is Lee Ann. And we are very cautiously optimistic, I want to say, yeah. uh, <laughs> about this, which is going to be our 26th episode and quite possibly the finale, depending on how we do, mm -hmm. of our Resident Evil 3 The Board Game Playthrough. Mm. So this is a narrative driven game, it's all story based, so if you haven't seen the previous 25 or so um, chapters before this, mm. we urge you to go back and watch them and sort of see how we got there this far because this is the final boss of the entire game. We will pop a link somewhere in the corner um, on the on the video there. If you to go back to the playlist and see and sort of catch up from, from where we've got and how far we've come and whatnot. Um, with that bit of housekeeping, there is going to be a little spoiler here because at the end of the last scenario, R.I.P. Joe. Oh, Joe. Rest in she peace, gone. brave she soul. She sacrificed herself. <laughs> brave soldier, thank you for your sacrifice. Um, so yeah, Jill met her untimely demise at the hands of an electrical board of some sort. She had to keep pulling the breaker to allow you to be able to escape, mm. so she got smashed with a missile. Even presumably. though I had to go there and we probably could have 18 and something together, uh, I don't know, oh my god, The whatever. death happened before I could um, do the key thing, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, so here we are, so Leanne's got a new character, we've distributed mm -hmm. the items from the box across the both of us. The box is now empty. We have no means to get to the box because obviously this is the last encounter. So basically we got stuff out of the box and then we threw it out the window. Yeah, let's go with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing now Nikolai, I don't know how to pronounce his surname. You know, Genevieve? Genevieve? Yeah, let's go with that. Sorry. Um, um, so... She's saying sorry to a fictional character. <laughs> Remind me, who is the other one I got to choose between? It was uh, Nikolai Mikhail. and Mikhail. Mikhail. Mm -hmm. So I've it chosen. The it's the only character in the reserve pool, so it's. Uh... Yeah. So I chose Nikolai, even though neither of his like abilities will have an effect on here. He's got one which involves the tension deck, which we aren't using, and one that involves the A deck, which we're not using. <laughs> which we're also uh, using and yeah. also my inventory's full. Um, but the reason I've chosen him over um, Mikhail is that he has he can evade with two dice, whereas the other guy's got one. Is this the wrong side of the board? Yes. No. <laughs> That's right. Uh, is... uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, that is perfect. Congrats. Um, okay, so yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. He starts with a knife, a handgun, and a first aid spray, but the only thing I've kept is the first aid spray because I've got the stuff from the box instead. So I got the assault rifle, I've got the western, which Jill kindly put in the box before her death. <laughs> the rocket launcher, which we got two scenarios ago. I've got the first aid spray, I've got shotgun shells and assault rifle bullets. Yeah. So hopefully So we that's... traded some stuff, I had the shotgun shells. Mm -hmm. um, Just trying to make the yeah. most of both of our inventories from what yeah, we had. Yeah. I think we did fairly well at stocking up, considering we've now got two characters with only six infantry spaces. It's the best it could be. I think. We've both got health item, we've both got ammo items, we've yeah. both got two or to three weapons. Yeah, so I've got the Eagle 6 still with 15 rounds and handgun bullets extra on top when reloading. Mm -hmm. I've got a grenade launcher with four rounds and I've got acid rounds. I've also got the shotgun which is fully loaded with enhanced shotgun shells and I've got a first aid spray. Yeah, and all of this to take on one, one enemy. enemy. So yeah, should I get into this? Let's go, what we got? This so is this gonna is suck. <laughs> scenario, scenario brief for Dead Factory 3, the final showdown with do, do, do. Nemesis. Do, do, do. That's all we can do because we'll probably get copyright struck in otherwise. Yeah. Um, okay. Salvation is but moments away when Nemesis staggers into view, his mutilated body ravaged by hideous mutations and rapidly swelling to monstrous size. Before long, the creature before you is unrecognisable from the enemy you faced before, but it matters little. Nemesis roars and smashes the ground with a long tentacle, the reverberation starting a countdown on a huge cannon set in one corner of the room. Oh. This scenario takes place in the dead factory. In this scenario, the characters will have their opportunity to finally put Nemesis down for good. The players successfully complete the scenario if Nemesis Stage 3 is killed. Now there's an awful lot of text on this page, considering it's a one 
tile map with one enemy. So bear I think, with I me. I think I see where this is going though. I think I know what's going to happen. Special rules. Demon Sword of Paraclesis. This scenario features a huge rail cannon which can be used to defeat Nemesis once and for all. When setting up the scenario, place a power token in each square con containing a power symbol, which we've done yep. there. If there were any unspent power tokens... Ooh! Did we have any unspent power tokens in the last scenario? Can you remember? Yes. Can you remember how many? Were there more than two? That's all we need yes. to know. So it says place up to I two of those like, tokens in the square containing the power symbol. I think it was like six. Cool. I think it's five or six. Sorry, containing the key symbol. So these two go in by there. Nice. Hey. During this scenario, a, a character can spend an action while in the same square as a power token to remove the token and place it in the square containing the key symbol. Oh. When there are two or more power tokens in the square containing the key symbol, any character in an, in an adjacent square can spend an action to remove the tokens and perform an attack with a rail cannon. So we earned ourselves a free shot, basically, last time. So that's cool. The it rail... sucks that there's three things on the board as you start, though. Yeah. Because how you're only going to get one shot maximum. If you I suppose if we'd only saved one from the last one, then yeah. we'd have two shots. But like, if you didn't bring any over, then you're only going to get one shot out of it, so... Yeah. Does it say how much damage that does? Yeah, that's the next bit. Cool, cool. The rail cannon has a set firing path Which shown is by... yellow, this on the map. Oh, okay. So it's... This way, it's a specific side. In a diagonal yeah, line across. Line, yeah. When the rail cannon performs an attack, any model that has at least part of their base in one of these squares <laughs> suffers 10 damage. Oh, oh. So at the moment, oh. he's not in any of those no. spaces. No. That's fine. If there are three power tokens in the same square as the key symbol at any time, the tokens are removed and the railgun immediately performs an attack. So it, it will be like automatic rather than set off by being by the key. Gotcha. Okay, Wild Aggression. <laughs> Nemesis Stage 3 is an incredibly resilient and widely unpredictable opponent. At the start of the scenario, Nemesis Stage 3's reference card should begin with the umbrella symbol face down. Didn't realize that two sides. Oh, God. Uh, I think that, because it's got... Oh, no, that side, because it's just the plain one. So we start with his face on it. That's fine. <laughs> Have, you can have a look, but that side has him on it, the other side oh. has the umbrella symbol. So that's fit side face down. Oh god, he's gonna reset, isn't he? If the conditions listed under the unstable rule on the card are met, this card is immediately flipped to the other side. If these conditions are met during the resolution of a behaviour card, the remaining actions on the behaviour card are not performed and the card is discarded. Okay. Um, and the other stuff on here is... A fixed narrative event which triggers when Nemesis Stage 3 is killed. There is a choice to be made as part of it. I don't know what it is. I'm trying not to look at it because I don't <laughs> want to find out in advance. Put, put, put the reserve card over it. It's cool. a lot of text. Nikolai has got a job to do. No, Nikolai, uh, Mikhail okay. has a job to do. So Nemesis Stage 3. Sorry, there's a lot of reading for this, but we want to make sure we get it right. At least it's not going to be a five-minute video. So he's 30, <laughs> 30 health. One movement. Vengeful. If a character damages Nemesis Stage 3 during the action phase, it performs a move towards them at the start of the tension phase. So before it pull, we pull one of his cards. In the What's his move? One. Oh, that's not bad. Acid reflex. Not reflux. Reflex. <laughs> that's a very different thing. <laughs> when, when a character damages Nemesis Stage 3 with an attack, they must immediately pass a small evade roll or suffer one damage. What? It's a small one. <laughs> I'm glad I chose Nikolai. Unstable. When Nemesis Stage 3's health dial is reduced to zero, <laughs> reset it to 30 and remove all cards from the behavior deck with a Nemesis symbol on them. Add oh. Body Slam, Double Cleave, and Rib Impale <laughs> cards. <laughs> okay. So he's got two phases. Uh, so really, he's got 60 health, I guess. Okay. This is fine. So that's that. He's got his deck there, which we pull from. Instead of the narrative, instead of the tension cards, we do behavior cards instead. Yeah, this is a boss. This is a boss fight. And we gotta go. So. so this is we... me. Yeah. And this is you. Yeah. So I reckon if you go first. It's yeah. more likely to be in line, I was, and I yeah, can set that up. I was already thinking it. that. My question is: yes. Do we want to use the real gun 
on this stage or the second stage? I feel like either way, we're taking down that health. But I get the feeling once it flicks over to the umbrella side, his attacks are going to be more brutal. Probably. So I guess we want to do that bit quicker, I suppose, is what, you, what you're saying. The, yeah, I'd, I'd, okay. I think we would probably be best off keeping that until the second stage of the fight. Sure. Um, let me I just think. check something. Okay, cool. I was just making sure that it wasn't like if you step on a power token, it goes over and yeah, then would automatically yeah, go. You'd you'd yeah, have to you do... have to interact with that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because my thought process was I would go first, he would move towards me, and then you would shoot mm. him on the first turn. But that was when I thought you only had 30 health, not 60. <laughs> um, okay. But it's 10 damage, you said, per, per real gun hit. Yes. My problem is we're only going to get two shots, so that's only 20 yes. health. But you do have the rocket launcher. Yep. I've got grenade launcher. i got acid rounds. We got options. So I guess we just start taking it down. So I guess I'm first down? Sure. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna keep his yeah. card next to me because there's a lot <clears throat> to try and remember. Yeah, that's fine. Um, right, what am I gonna start off with is the question, I guess. Do we want to come out guns blazing or do you want to build up? Like, do I want to use my handgun or should I just go straight for like a grenade launcher? Um, <laughs> maybe... Maybe build up? I don't know. Oh, I guess really we want to get get it down as fast as possible. True. But in the spirit of saving the railgun for the second phase, yeah. should that also apply to the um, to weapons? I guess the thing is, like, I can do 12 damage if I hit four hits with my grenade launcher. Mm. Um, I mean, you've got extra rounds, so maybe it's... Use yeah. the big ones, yeah. but if you've only got, if you haven't got a reload left, pull back. Well, the thing is, I've got my extra thing, so I can yep. easily blow four rounds now just to chip a good third of his health down, maybe, mm -hmm. potentially, um, and then use that fifth one to reload into the acid runs, and then I'm good to go ready, and I am going to be worried about reloading the grenade launcher. Okay. Only thing I would have to reload it down the line it would be the handgun bullets. Sure. Because that's the only other thing I've got. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. That sounds like a plan. All right. I'm not going to bother turning the dial for a minute, so I'm just going to do a grenade round against Nemesis. Uh, that's three damage. Okay. And he doesn't move until the end of my turn, right? Um, hang on. No, but you still have to do an evade. Okay. It's a small one. Yeah. yeah. One damage. Yeah. How are you? Oh, how are you on that one? Oh, you only healed two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Grenade round. That's another three. Yeah. Or is it just one per turn? Keep going, yeah. No, 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 no it, the, yeah, it's another one. That's yeah. evaded. Yeah. Second, uh, third grenade round. That's also three damage. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Not evaded. Oh, God. Yeah. That sucks. And fourth grenade round. That's a hit, but it doesn't do any damage. Okay. So I need to do this. You, nope, you haven't done damage. Oh. oh when a character damages Nemesis gotcha. with an attack. And then I'm going to use my fifth action to reload to Acid Rounds. And I get four of those. Nice. Okay. So then, going to the tension phase, it will move yep. towards, towards you. me. So one towards me. Yep. And now he's in, he is in Thing of the Wheel Gun. Do you want to read them for your end so it's on the camera okay. in the right way? Tentacle drag. Okay, so he's doing three range. Yeah. Let me double check. If that's a symbol, no, okay, cool, that's fine. So three range, you need a full evade. Oh god. No, so it's one damage. Yeah. If this yeah. if this attack damaged a character, push them one square towards Nemesis stage three. Okay. Oh, this isn't good, I'm already on danger. My turn, okay. This evade rolls been awful. <laughs> so, should I go? I can do assault rifle. Rapid fire or Western. Um, I could I'm save the rocket launcher for yeah. phase two, probably. Um, it's on 21 so far. It doesn't really make too no, much it, difference. No, it, it, okay, it doesn't at this point. Yeah. I'll go assault rifle three rounds, so I get a red and two blues, isn't it? Because Correct. A red for one and yeah. then an extra and blue an extra for each additional round. So that's three rounds. And that one's not. I'll roll that again. Yeah. <laughs> Just that 
Okay, that is three damage. Anyone who's saying that's cheating, it's not losing the dice was not a deciding face. This is the way we play, this is what we have to do it. If the dice isn't decisive, we roll again. Decisive dice. And it could have been, <laughs> if, like, if that was a hit symbol, I still would have got to the thing. So that's damage, so I need to evade. Yep. And then we'll do the same again, three rounds. Yep. Oh, what am I doing? I'm putting that's the wrong the dial down. One. He's still on 18. <laughs> Do you manage to get three hits on you? Yes. Cool. Oh yeah, because there's a push, wasn't it? Uh, that is three hits. three hits. Nice. 15. Do you need to evade? Just two actions. I evade. Jesus, oh. full evade. Okay. Three more assault gun. Assault gun? Assault <laughs> What's an assault gun? <laughs> Have you got anything on your skills which would help? No. Okay, it's it. the A item and the, uh, the other thing is the tension deck. Just checking, yeah. Three. Three, nice. So that's four? Twelve. Yeah, that's four. Is it? That was three attacks. So I got into 18, 15, 12. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm um, losing track now. Yeah. I've only got one assault, run, assault round there, though. Okay. So either I reload... Does it fully reload, or is it just... It does. So do I spend the you one? You might as well hit him with one round and see one what happens, round. I think. Ugh, it feels I weird. know, but there you go. One damage. We're in a fight that could go long for form, <laughs> and we might need the armor, so... So he's on 11. Yeah. I need to evade again. <laughs> yeah. I don't. So one and then he moves towards me. Towards you. And we behave. <laughs> Acid rain. Oh, okay, what have we got? <clears throat> Two range, small evade, and I have to do that three times. Yeah. One. Yep. No. Nope. One damage. We are good. <laughs> Your turn. He's on 11 health. I'm just wondering if I should try and move away a minute. I don't know if I just keep firing. Um... He's got so much range on his attacks. Like, there's very... Unless he's in a the... corner, we can't like be out of range the at all. The problem with this is, if I take one hit, I'm down. Yeah. So do I need to use a first aid spray? Yes. If I don't attack, he won't move towards me. And I get that he's obviously going to... Um... If you don't attack at all in your turn, he won't move towards you. Yeah, yeah, but he's still going to probably attack me because, as you say, his range is incredible. If you're in range, yeah. Um, the only gun I've got which has multiple pits of damage at one time is the grenade launcher. I don't really want to burn through that just yet. Mm -hmm. But what, 11, you said? 11, yes. I mean, um, what's the word? Using the handgun with the rapid fire is still doing potentially multiple damage. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking, trying, trying to work on the math. So mm -hmm. with the shotgun, the most I can do eight damage, unless if I get all the right dice. With the handgun, those plus two, that's four, five, six, four, eight, twelve. I could hit if I, well, I potentially could hit the 16 if I blow through my handgun rounds. Mm -hmm. But I do need to use this first aid spray yep. first and use foremost. So I'm going to use that and it heals up by three levels. One, two, three. Yeah. So I'm back on where I started at the beginning of the scenario. Yep. Do I want to move or do I want to stay where I am? Because if, if he moves, he's going to push me. And that's not going to do damage, though, is it? Pushing doesn't do damage. You just go for a little doom. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, three rounds is the most of the handgun? Yep. Three rounds rapid. On there, Ooh. It's a push, but you can't push him because he's massive. But it still counts as a hit, so he doesn't. Well, he doesn't react anyway. But you know. So I'm not gonna have to dodge that attack because nope. it didn't hit. Because he didn't do any damage. Got it. It hit. It didn't do damage. Yeah. One, yeah. two, three more rounds. Then I'll do the same again. Cool. Ooh. Oh, for the love of Christ! Come same on. thing again. I'm gonna just turn him towards you. <laughs> He's like, ping, ping. And he's like, <laughs> pretty much. What? Just like bounced off these ribs, sticking them out. You what, mate? Hi, yeah. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Screw it. Same again. I don't feel like I have a choice. Mm. Oops. Yeah, we change the right one. We're gonna get a bit lucky with this device. Do we need another uh, the environment? 
don't think so. One hit. One. One damage. That's down to a nice round ten. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, you did damage. Roll and evade. Oh yes. And he does then move towards you, pushing you back. Um, and then his behavior. <laughs> Acid rain! Need to make three smaller veeds, please. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. One damage. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Alright, it's shotgun If you time. can do okay. ten damage before all your turns are done, he will flip and then we can hit this, because you're in the adjacent square. Yeah. So let, how, Unless is there I way... do rocket launcher, it's going to be slim. <laughs> I can do... I, if I get every shot with this shotgun, then I could do it. It would be so worth it. It's be, empty, yeah, so it's I'd empty. need to reload first. Of course. That wouldn't be able to do it anyway, because I can... I don't think. Let's just play it out then. Let's just play it out for minutes. Here we go. I mean, he's kind of just bouncing back and forth. Between yeah. So he's still in this line of the thing. If when... Well, what, you're going to hit him. When he turns and comes towards you, you're going to get pushed on this square anyway, I'd imagine. That's fine. Uh, okay, shotgun. Pew pew. That's two damage. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna... And I need to evade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second shotgun. Yep. One damage with the push symbol. Seven, so I evade again. <clears throat> Which I do. Yeah. Third shotgun. Oh, ah, God. that's nothing. Okay. But I don't have to evade. Just don't forget to turn your guard on. Did I not? Sorry. I, d- so I didn't see you, I'm just not sure. It was on six. So yeah. yeah. So you're, you're on three now then. <laughs> and then last shotgun. <laughs> I feel like I've got multiple shotguns, but that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> like a gun zerker. Three. Is it three? Oh, the push does damage on Push does yeah. one. Cool. The hit does two, cool, cool, cool. so that's so three damage. Now? Four. Oh, so close. So I have to evade. This is fine. This is fine. We can work with this. Yeah. Yeah, so it pushes me. And then a behavior card. <laughs> Spin drift. So he's got it's two range and it's sweeping, so it hits everything within two range. So that is both, and we need a small evade. Yeah. So that is one damage for me. But not, not for, you. for me. So I might heal on my next Thanks. turn. For that. Um, okay, he's on four. Okay, I'm gonna use a grenade round. Okay. What does All the right. acid do? Does, does it so, say? Do I need to look anything so up? So you get when you do a push roll, uh, it's two damage. Mm-hmm. When you do a hit, it's three. If you hit the crit, it's five. Ooh. Only four damage. Is the shotgun the best way to go with this? If I can get four, move here and use that after he's triggered, ten down straight off the bat. That's kind of what's going through my brain, Mm -hmm. but it's all dependent on the damage I can hit him with. Yeah. (laughs) I'm nervous. (laughs) Because I would need to literally hit two hits with two dice on both shotgun turns. Yeah, that's tricky. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's try it for one first and see how we go. We can always adjust on the fly. So two red die. Two nope, that's one hit. One hit. That's ah, Please roll an evade. Yep. Evade. <laughs> if we were to trigger the cannon now, just for example sake, right? Would it take three off this phase and seven off the next? I don't think so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's kind of a reset. Yeah, no, I was just trying to work out. Okay. Let's try one grenade round. Let's see if I can get a hit symbol. And yes, that's three damage. Three. Mm. Okay, he's down to zero. Do I need to, to do the evade now because he's changing? Um, I think so, yes. Because there's technically him dead, isn't it? Doesn't it say mm. once he hits zero, 
What, yeah. what does this say in the in the thing for it? When he hits, when the health time t- health dial is reduced to zero, reset to thirty, remove cards. Blah blah blah. blah. I would say it. he wouldn't react to that. Okay, so that's back to thirty. <laughs> um, so we need to remove Nemesis cards. So we're taking out um, Spin Drift and Acid Rain. Okay. And we're adding in. Body slam, oh one one body slam card, one double cleave card, and a rib impale card. What's the other card you pulled out then? A cannon charge. There were three of them in the deck, but we only were asked to put two in. Maybe it's for two players or something. I Unless know. I got that wrong and it is supposed to be. Nope, I think it is supposed to be in there. We'll just put that in there. Okay. We're doing fine. We just shuffle that. Right and then we flip to the other side. So, 30 health, two movement. <coughs> Oh god, okay. <laughs> Monstrous <clears throat> Rage. If Nemesis Stage 3 suffers 10 or more damage during a character's action phase, their player must draw an additional behavior card during the tension phase. So just do all 30 in one go. <laughs> I can't. Uh, no. Um, this is fine. I think it is, this is fine. Are we sticking with the plan? Yeah, just do it. <clears throat> Move, use the energy. So all three of those will shoots. 10 damage. And then he does... He doesn't do that until the tension phase. So if, if that's, is that your last action? That's the last action. Okay, so you take two behavior cards instead. Well. <clears throat> okay, cannon charge. Place a power token on the square containing the key symbol. Remove this card from the game, then draw a replacement. So we're still picking up two. Oh. Tentacle drag. Okay, three range. So it is going to hit you. You need a full evade. Yes! Oh, oh. Double. Nice. Didn't get any fuller than that. Uh, cool. And then the second one. Cleave. Nemesis stage three moves towards the active character. Two spaces, so I'm going to push you there. He's no longer in range of the cannon. And then he's got a one range attack. You need another full evade. Yeah. Two damage. Oh, Jesus. I'm on danger. Yeah. And one more hit and I'm down. Okay. <sighs> And he is not in the right place. Okay, we need to get him into the right place. I guess it's rocket launcher time, is it? Why not? Rocket launcher time. Why not? So we get three blues and a red. It's a one use thing. <laughs> come on, crits. Come on, crits. Come on, crits. So you can't crit on a blue dice. It's only crit one on possible red. crit. Let's do it. Oh. It's not crits, so it is four damage. That's okay. not a lot, but oh well. Mm. I mean, that's only your first action. Four damage is not not to sniff at. To be fair, I can't like make him move. Is the problem? Do you still do the dodge thing, or is that done? Nope, now? that is gone. Okay. okay, that's done. Uh, I guess shotgun. Don't forget you should reload your um. Oh, where were you just now? One damage was on 15. That's two. And this is, and then what last shotgun ammo that's in there for my third action. Yep. Uh, Does not help. Uh, does he react? I never know. He's a boss. He I mean, does that's, that's a hit. Oh, anyway. it is a hit. It's a hit, yeah. so it doesn't matter. And then my fourth action, which one shall I reload, which is more important? Honest, what, what, what's got the more potential to do the most damage? Probably the shotgun. No, I'd say the assault rifle, because you've got the three blues if you go rapid fire. True, that'd be four dice. Both of them could do four in one, The shotgun could do four, taking one ammo. Yeah. So I think shotgun's more Yeah, yeah it's your call, it's your call. So that's four points. I mean, you know, I'm not a big fan of shotguns in the games, but I mean, not like it's, it's not yeah. like go-to weapon. Okay, I have not done ten damage, so it's one behavior card. Come on, move. Cannon charge! <laughs> we put a power token on the key and draw a replacement card. Double cleave. Okay, it's got a one range attack, so I'm afraid it's gonna oh, go come you. on. You need a full evade. I'm so sorry. It's a full evade. Yeah. Nemesis, stage, ne- 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 Nemesis stage three moves towards the active character. One, four. And he's in range of that. And then I do have to do a full evade. Yeah. This could be the death of me also. Yeah. That's, that's me down. I'm so sorry. 
I didn't. I should have used my first aid spray. If you can get to me, you can revive me with my first aid spray. But it's down to you. He is on 15 health. be on the square of the power. Yes, you do. That's annoying. Can't get that railgun this turn. No. <sighs> Thing is, we need to get you up anyway. Because isn't it, if we can't revive you before the end of the scenario, isn't it game over? Or is that... I think it's just, I don't come back. Because that's what happened with Carlos, right? Wasn't it a narrative event as well? Was that at the end? That's when he's dead. Okay. A part of me is thinking, just blow my grenade around today. Yeah. Because if I can get three crits, it's highly unlikely, but if I get three crits, he's dead. Mm -hmm. But am I too close right now is also my problem. But then he's got a very big range, considering the size of the tile. Oh my god, this is a window. I can't even get on the tile with that. I can't get to the cannon. I can't get to that one up there and use it. One, two, three, no. I can't get to you. <laughs> Sticky situation. <clears throat> Let me try a grenade round. Okay. Fantastic. Would he move? I don't know. I never know. I don't know. Boss fight rules. I don't think so, but... They don't perform reactions. I had a feeling that was right, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, they don't. And blow three hanging rounds. So that does one damage. Fourteen. Three, four, just to potentially prevent anything disastrous. Mm -hmm. I don't think it will, but wait, he's gonna move? Nope. No. No. That is on the other yeah, side. Of course, yeah. Okay, body <laughs> slam. Nemesis stage three moves towards the active character. Nemesis stage 3 moves towards the active character. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then you need a small evade with a one range attack. Yeah. Good thing, because that would have been 3 damage otherwise. Adjacent is fine. <laughs> so I can use the first aid spray to bring you back on that square. Yes. 1, 2, 3, use that, bring you back. Okay, Hello, people. I'm Let's sorry. Get what, what level are you up to? Um, Don't say danger. Don't say danger. Don't. Caution. Okay, that's fine. The problem is now, obviously, if I die, we, we've got a bit of a... Yep. Okay. The hay situation. Yeah, kind of. <clears throat> Cannon charge. Hang on. Got a thing there. If there are three on the same square, it automatically zaps. goes off. So, so they damage. go. And he's down to four. <laughs> I do need to pick another one. Hang on, wasn't there a thing about 10 damage? He's During just... a character's action phase. Gotcha. <laughs> One range. Nope. I guess it's my turn. Oh my god! Kill this son of a bitch! Um, <laughs> right. I Reload could. your assault rifle and just go full out. Are you sure? That's or... your best chance I've got of hitting. four shotgun shells, though, that I can use. That yeah, can do I it. just want to remind you of that double red blank roll you rolled numerous times. Isn't it more likely that you'd hit blanks with one red dice rather than two red dice? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like doing the shotgun. Do it, yeah. Go, go on. If, if not, I'm just going to launch an acid run at okay. his face. Shotgun. <laughs> Ammo. <laughs> oh my god. Ammo. It's a miss. Miss. Well, it's not a miss, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do any damage in this particular Second. scenario, it's a miss. It is three damage. Okay. He's on one. My second action. Third action, third shotgun shell. Is one. Four. Kills it. Yeah, yeah. God almighty, okay. All right. <laughs> when away. Nemesis stage three is killed, read out the description <laughs> below. Um, then there's something about solo mode. Exhausted, you slump, <laughs> slump to the ground. 
It's finally over. Rescue is mere moments away. Suddenly, movement draws your eyes. Against all odds, Nemesis is beginning to regenerate. His charred form slowly mutating once more. Staying to finish him off will mean missing the helicopter and certain death. The players must now choose one of the following options. Exterminate the monster. The players must choose one of the characters taking part in the scenario and remove them from the game. And then you successfully complete. And there's a bit of text. Um, the Or ignore it and evacuate. The players have successfully completed the campaign. And then there's some stuff. But I feel like we need to decide before I read on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sacrifice one of us to completely destroy Nemesis or get on the chopper and go. What's your thought? I mean, the dramatic thing would be to sacrifice and finish it. Make sure it's actually finished. Yeah. I think that's what I'm leaning towards. <laughs> Um, Nikolai's only just turned up, so if he's gonna die, that's fine by me. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it's, it's that dramatic moment, isn't it? I feel like if we leave, yes, more of us have survived, but he's still out there somewhere. And I don't know if that'll have some effect on, like, the, the epilogue. Epilogues. So, in the spirit of that, then, Tyrell came in to save Carlos when he died. Well, he say he but he came in to replace Carlos. Yeah. He's obviously been the MVP at that point, mm -hmm. coming through. Jill obviously sacrificed herself for Tyrell. I think Tyrell will pay it forward. Yeah. So what if Tyrell stays behind instead and says, Nikolai, tell the story. Get on that chopper. Get to the chopper! <laughs> um, so Tyrell stays behind to finish Nemesis. Because he's yeah. like, I want to kill you, you son of a bitch. Uh, and he has got the acid rounds. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean I fight it alone, or does that... I don't think so, okay. but I haven't read that. I mean, I'll fight it with that, because I'll just plug it with Acid Run, but yeah. Okay. We've seen Tyrell, Tyrell sacrifices himself. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. You've already done it once. It's time for my, okay. my character to do it. Exterminate the monster, then. So we've chosen one of the characters to be removed from the I'm stood down. I'm just giving the birds to the nemesis. <laughs> like, come on, boy. Let's go. The players have successfully completed the campaign and have won the game. In future days to come, Doesn't they'll be able... Like it. <laughs> They'll be able to hold their heads up high and in the quiet moments remember the heroic sacrifice of their comrade who remained to the end the threat Nemesis posed to the world. Uh, wait, remained to end the threat Nemesis posed to the rest of the world once and for all. Cool. So let's have a look with the if we ignored and evacuated. Um, we'd have still won the game. However, they'll never know Nemesis' true fate. The missile strike annihilated Raccoon City and surely any creature caught in the blast. But Nemesis' incredible regenerative powers and resiliency will always leave them unsure and fearful that one day they'll hear the consumer's monstrous growl once more. And if we chose that, there's another epilogue card to add. Epilogue card six. Oh, okay. So we don't. So, okay. so you know what the missile strike is though, right? Um, it was... To end everything. Yeah, but do you know what kind of missile it was? Nuclear? It was, nu it was a nuclear yeah, bomb. Yeah, the umbrella trying to cover up what <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, so I get, yeah. Ne I mean, it'll be interesting to sort of see if we ever get to that point again coming through if yeah. Nemesis does sort of somehow survive, but mm -hmm. there's no chance it would survive a nuclear yeah. blast, right? Yep. Okay, all right, so okay. what are we doing now? So these are the epilogue cards which come with the <clears throat> last escape expansion. Yes. Okay. So at various points, as you've seen, we, you add cards to it. And then when we get to the end, we start from the top and it has a little condition. And if that condition's met, that's the ending we get. So the first card is reveal if the players what? lost the campaign, which we didn't. Wasn't there something to do with the reserve deck as well? Or am I thinking something different? That probably comes into play with some of these. Okay. Like this one. Reveal if there are no stars characters in the character reserve. There is not. So we've got Nikolai and we've got... Uh, Mikhail. They're both UBCS. So this is our ending. Okay. Ending three. Stars is dead. <laughs> UBCS retains the glory. The darkest night. And I should preface this with we only started using these like when we got to yeah. the um, city of ruin. We didn't realize. Where we, if we'd in incorporated it into the main campaign, we could have rescued more characters and had more stuff. So just putting that out there. I mean, yeah, but yeah, let's, um, we're, we're going we're gonna to put a pin in that. Basically, I've seen a grade <laughs> at the bottom of this card and I'm offended. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put a, we're gonna put a pin in that little thing because I do have a potential thought going forward with the channel stuff. So just bear with us. Awesome. Around. Okay. The darkest night. Look to the skies in sadness, for there are no stars to be found, just as none remain among our number now. The proud legacy of the stars died with the city of ruin, broken and discarded when law and order fled the bloody streets. And so the truth of what happened in Raccoon City will never be known and Umbrella will go on unpunished and darkness shall overtake us all. E oh, for God's sake. It's because Jill sacrificed. If, if Jill had been alive... If Jill survived, we would have been fine. I think we came into this one with a loaded deck on that. Yeah, there was no way we, we were didn't have any that. stars coming in. But that's kind of why I said if we'd have incorporated this in the main campaign, maybe we'd have had more we'd stars have had Barry members. Or, uh, yeah, I think um, Bride was in there somewhere. So we'd have been more likely to not get it. E. I want to look at the others, but I won't because the idea is you can play this multiple times yeah. and get different endings. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> cool. Yes, so, so, final thoughts? This is really fun. It's <laughs> such Tense. a long campaign, <laughs> and there are definitely emotional highs and lows. But it was really fun, and you do get that tension. You could feel it just in that last scenario when I was down. And you're like, oh, <laughs> what are we going to do? But it's that feeling then of like, we did it. We actually got through, and we had a spare character, so we still like had a chance. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it and yeah. would recommend it and kind of want to start again, <clears throat> Yeah. maybe. With, so with, with all with the everything. incorporated stuff, yeah. Yes. Um, but maybe off camera because it'll be quite seamy. Maybe. Yeah. Well, what know. I was what I was kind of thinking is that potentially, well, well no potential about it. Now that we've finished Resi Three, mm -hmm. obviously the the way the Kickstarter's worked with Steam Forge was Resi Two come up first, then Resi Three, then Resi One. We are moving on to Resident Evil One next, mm. so that will be our next Resident Evil playthrough. Um, Mariano's just jumped for joy. I can hear him from you. <laughs> um, my thought process was well, once we get through one and see how we feel and see the state of Resident Evil Four at that point mm -hmm. and where is where is coming if it's not yet because it's, it's still kind of not given a release date for that yet. We could do one into two and then into three. Yeah. Or potentially do one first half of three, two back half of three. And I know they're very different games, but maybe there's a way yeah. to um, adjust it somehow to make it feel a bit more action packed like Resident Evil 3 is as opposed to two, but I have to go mm -hmm. back to the rule book stuff. Maybe house rule it and kind of make it more of a ongoing scenario from that from one through three maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Cool. So we may end up revisiting this. We'd even use some of the other characters from the bat instead of Jill and Carlos. We saw we a was... really cool gun in the starting items that we haven't had a chance yeah, to Yeah, the use. Samurai Edge with Barry Burton's <laughs> gun, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's a potential thought. Um, let us know what you think of that idea in the comments down below or on our social media channels and I'll let Leanne take it from you. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching and joining us through this whole campaign. I hope you enjoyed. Please let us know your thoughts and um, what you'd want to see more of as well. Uh, we'd be really interested to know you've, if you've been with us from the start of this campaign through to now. We really appreciate that you've stuck with us. Um, thank you so for much. The, for the, the right rules and the wrong rules. Yeah. And I hope you'll join us when we go to Resi 1 as well. Um, please like this video if you liked it, hit subscribe and the bell to be notified when we drop new videos. Follow us on socials, our link tree is in the description below which will take you to Facebook, Instagram and X. And you can talk to us on our socials or in the comments about your thoughts on this campaign and um, for the future of our Resident Evil based content. Um, and that's about it though, so thank you again for watching. Um, until next time. See you in the Spencer Mansion. <laughs>